Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add special effect to your image and video with Filmora 11. I think it is very easy. By the way, I hope this tutorial can be helpful for beginners who have just downloaded Filmora 11 and don't know where to start to add, add special effect to your image and video on the timeline. Okay? And be mentioned that if you want to download Filmora 11 or upgrade to this latest version, you need to reinstall the software. And I will put the link in the description for you to download and reinstall the software. And if you want to purchase Filmora 11 lifetime license, I have 20% discount coupon code, which is in the description also. And I have a, a tutorial on how to activate the coupon. I will put it right here at the corner of the video. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so here's my Filmora 11 example project. So right here, I have a video here playing as a background and I have a special effect with bokeh blur number four. So it is some bubble here on the screen, just some, just to change the look of my video. And on the top track, I have one image, image of my friends here. And here is one video. So let's play them first. Okay, so nothing fancy here. By the way, at this image, the first thing I use is the, the border effect around the image. Uh, I'm sorry, this one. The first one is the border effect around the image. And another one is the rock shadow. Added to that, I add a keyframe, a preset keyframe to make the image zoom in on the screen. So let's play it now. And for the video, I just copy the effect from the image and paste it to the video to, to have the same effect for both my image and video. So that is one way to speed up your editing process by copy the effect from one clip or one image and paste it to, to the other, okay? So let's delete everything first. For example, I can delete the image and the video on the timeline. So the first thing, we want to drag and drop the image onto the timeline, okay? And this is it an image of my friend and it is in full screen so if you want to add special effect to this image all you need to do is to go to the effect tab right here so remember in Filmora 11 and Filmora 10 and also Filmora 9 they have eight important category here so what you need to do is to go to that tab and then find the effect that you want to use and drag and drop it onto the timeline okay so for example at the effect tab I can go to the recommended folder right here and now I have a bunch of different options, different effects that I can apply to my video. And be mentioned that not all the effects here are free. Even you have a resistor license. Some effect with a pinky diamond button, then you cannot use it. Otherwise, you have to purchase a subscription from Free Stock. Okay, for example, here the AI portrait, you will see some paid effect, uh, this one. With this button and you cannot buy uh, you cannot use it okay and the boris epic and new blue epics for example you cannot use it also if you want to use it you have to purchase a subscription from watershare so it costs about 22 us dollar per month okay so in order to add a special effect to your video or image all you need to do is to go to recommended folder and then you need to download the, the effect that you want to use for example, this neon frame, if I want to use this one, all I need to do is to double click to download it and preview it. And then you have two ways to drag and drop it onto the timeline. The first way is to drag and drop the special effect directly to the image or the video. So just like this, just drag and drop it directly to the image so that you have the effect inside the image. And another way is to drag and drop the effect to the top track so I, I mean to the track above the, the image for example this one the bokeh blur I can just drag and drop it right here so we also have the special effect in my my image okay and this position by the way when you put the effect here on the top track it will affect all the layer below it so the, the ideal solution is to drag and drop the, the effect directly to the image or the video okay so let's delete this one for example now i have a nail frame inside the image and i can just click at click the image on the preview window and maybe i want to resize it 
because I want to create an overlay. So this is the overlay effect. And now if I want to add a border to my image, all I need to do is to set the border effect right here at the recommended folder. Okay, so we can search for border effect and press enter. And we have a free one. Okay, so this one is free. And we can drag and drop it directly to the image on the timeline to create a border. So now if you want to change the color of the border, we can adjust the effect inside the image by double click at the image. And now you have the effect tab right here. So select the effect tab. And now you can select the border effect again. And now you can change the colors. For example, I want to change it to this one and the end color to this one. And I can also increase the size and the blurriness of the, the border also. Okay, so let's click OK to finish. Otherwise, if you want to add a crop shadow, so you need to go to the basic one. And then you have the, the option here to activate the crop shadow. Uh, it is available for both image and video. So we can select the crop shadow and now we can adjust the blurriness right here. Okay, to create something like this and adjust the distance if you want. Very nice, right? And now we can click OK. By the way, you can add or as many effects to the image as you like. All you need to do is just double click to download the effect and then drag and drop it directly to the image on the timeline. And then you can double click at the image to go to the effect tab to adjust the effect setting here. Okay, so this is uh, the glitch scan line RGB split. By the way, we can close it now. And the last thing I want to add to the image is the, the animation keyframe. So as I told you at the beginning of the tutorial. So first thing we want to put our playhead at the beginning and then select the image here and then we can activate the animation keyframe by clicking this button. Okay, just click here. And now we can go to the preset uh, right here. And this is the animation preset that I use for my image. So all I need to do is to double click and here's the animation effect. So let's play it. Very nice, right? And now if you want to copy and paste the effect on the timeline to the video, let's import a video. So, okay. So let's go back to my media. And now I'm going to use this video on the timeline. Maybe I'm going to uh, put it right here and keep the project setting. So this is a full, full screen video. And now if I want to copy and paste the effect, all I need to do is to select the image here and then right click and go to the effect and then copy effect. And then I can paste the effect here at this video. So just right click, go to the effect again and paste the effect to have the same effect on the video. Okay, and now I'm going to show you, show you all the effect from the beginning. Okay, just, I will render the timeline first to avoid laggy issue. So if you are editing video on a low-end computer, always use the, the render preview button to get rid of the laggy issue and choppy things so to get smooth playback, okay? Okay, and here the effect for the image and the video. So let's play it. Some glitch and also glitch in the video. Okay, so that's easy, right? So that is how to add special effect to your image and video in Filmora 11. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.